Welcome to this Microfocus Service Desk demonstration video. This video shows you how to install Microfocus Service Desk by using the installer and also how to configure the database. Prior to the installation of Microfocus Service Desk, ensure that you meet the hardware and software prerequisites. For information, refer to the Service Desk documentation in the online documentation site. In order to use Microfocus Service Desk, your first step is to browse to the Microfocus download site, choose the Service Desk, and then download the Microfocus Service Desk zip to the device where you want to deploy. After downloading, extract the zip file. If your operating system does not support the execution of the jar files, open the command prompt in an administrator mode, navigate to the installer path, Execute the command and then follow the prompts. If your operating system does not support the GUI installer, then execute the command in the console mode. Else, double click and execute the installer. Choose the language that you want. And then accept the license agreement. The JDK path is displayed if it is installed. Else, install the JDK and specify the path. You can change the default service desk port, ensure that the port is not used by any other applications. After you specify the installation directory, you can begin the installation. The installation progress is displayed. You can create a shortcut for a program and specify the name of your choice. After installing, the installation status and deployment path is displayed. Note the URL. It is used for configuring Service Desk. Click Done to complete the installation. The Service Desk portal will be displayed in a browser. If not, open a browser and specify the URL that you noted. The first step in the configuration page is to establish a connection between Service Desk and the database. Service Desk supports a wide range of commercial databases such as Oracle, MySQL, Microsoft SQL, and Postgres. Select the database and map the service desk schema to the database. Ensure that you have installed a database that suits your needs in terms of scale, scope, and internal guidelines. In this scenario, MySQL database is used. Configure the database details to connect to the service desk server and validate the database server connection. After a successful connection is established, create the service desk schema to create tables of service desk in the database. For that, Copy the content. Open a text file, paste the content, and then save the file to a path of your choice. Launch the MySQL command prompt. Specify the database password. Use the database user. Execute the copied schema by using the source command. Execute the show tables command to view the table content for the executed schema. Save the database schema. Now the database is configured for Service Desk. The final step in the installation process is licensing Service Desk. For every ZenWorks license, you will get only two base edition licenses. For ZenWorks Suite, you get unlimited base edition licenses. The ITIL Service Desk version can be purchased or upgraded. To install the license, in the installation page, specify the license key and certificate details, and then save the license. The Service Desk login page is displayed. Specify the default admin or supervisor credentials. Change the default login credentials immediately. Congratulations, you have now installed Microfocus Service Desk. For more Microfocus Service Desk information and resources, Visit the Microfocus Service Desk documentation site. Thanks for watching.